is done. The Pixies shall be well pleased with these gifts. Ah, lest I forget. White Aurasite, newly forged for thy use. Our mission being to thwart a rejoining, we will most assuredly cross paths with those who crave the contrary, our eternal enemies. Thus did I choose to abide in this ether-rich land, the better to fashion a trap for the Asian's essence. Come in now. You may indeed, assuming you've finished. I did as you asked. That's my girl, thank you. I should probably explain. Though my body remained behind in the source, its limitations saw fit to accompany me. Which is to say, I cannot manipulate ether. I took up the gun blade for its defensive advantages. But on account of my little impairment, I cannot imbue the ammunition myself. Luckily for me, Minfilia has quite a talent for it. Minfilia, once we set forth, we are not like to return for some while. If thou wouldst choose tomes to take with thee, let it be now. Really? May I? Of course, my dear. Yet have care thou dost not add overmuch to thy burden, lest I incur Thancred's ire. spoken to her of thine encounter with the Minfilia of Eld. Well, I suppose now is as good a time as any. As you know, I freed young Minfilia from captivity in Yulmor some three years past. Not long after, the two of us journeyed to the south of Armoreng, to the edge of the Empty where the flood was halted. It was there that she awakened. The Minfilia of old. My Minfilia. do to bring you back? My dearest Thancred, as I am now, I am no different from an Asian. This child is but a vessel, one of many I have used that I might spread word of her enduring blessing and preserve the flame of hope. In my name, each has died, never having lived her own life. I have taken enough from these children. I will take no more. But what of your suffering, your sacrifice? This isn't fair! I will not stand for it. I cannot! There must be something we can do. Tell me!
Should the day come when this child grows weary of fighting and wishes to cast it all aside, then shall I take up her burden. But should she wish instead to become the master of her own destiny, then shall I bequeath to her my all. Imbued with the strength that I reserve for rebirth, she may come to wield my powers as her own. And what of my wishes? What of Flamines? What of all the people who love and care for you and want nothing more than to see you again? It is not their decision to make. It is hers. This child's. This Minfilia's. You have ever watched over me, Thancred. Now I ask that you do the same for her. Protect her. Teach her. Stand by her as you stood by me. There is much and more she does not know. She needs a guide to show her the ways of the world, or she will never find her own path. When the time comes, you will find me here. Until that day. Minfilia, wait! What? What happened? she was gone. Minfilia, the girl, claims to have no recollection of any of it. I have told her many things, where we came from, what we fight for, but of that day, I have not spoken. With the coming of another possessed of the blessing of light, the first hath begun to rise up in defiance of its fate. The question remaineth, however, who shall take up the flame of hope which Minfilia hath borne for so long? Whether we will it or no, the choice must soon be made. Sorry I took so long. It was so hard to choose. In the end, I settled on just the one. That is well. Now, if all is in order, let us set forth for Lee de Loran. <laughs>